Okay, I found this great little tool in PowerPoint the other day and I tried it out both on the Mac and Windows and it works exactly the same way. I'm using it here on a Mac right now. What it is, is it actually helps you do better presentations. And it's like having someone help you out built right into the computer. Let me show you. If I go to slideshow here on my tabs across the top, it's right here, Rehearse with Coach. Let me click on it. So what it will do is it's going to listen to what I'm doing and it's going to give me feedback. So when I click on it, it starts my presentation from the slide that I was on. And over here, it's telling you what it's going to do. And over here, it's got show feedback. I want that. And when I start rehearsing, it's going to listen to the pace, whether I um and ah, use repeated words, and It'll also work out if I'm just reading it from the PowerPoint. So let's just give it a quick go. So let's ch choose this here. Let's do this start rehearsing. And so I'm going to try and do this, maybe um, say a lot of ums here and there. And um, and you can see it pops up immediately right down here. Try not to use too many fillers like um. OK, so it's worked that out. Let's try and do this a little bit better. What we're doing today is we're going to be talking about the gear, how to use it, lenses, exposure, light, and editing. And a quick tip, save as PDF and then view on your smartphone or tablet. Light, quality, color, direction. Light sources, daylight, moon, flash, speed light, strobe, reflector, continuous. Now actually when I tried this before it told me that I was just reading from the slide so it's also telling me here and I was just rambling on a bit so it's, you could see it came up with telling me to try varying my pitch. So okay here I am I was actually here on this workshop for photography we had a model we had some people holding the flash the guy here you can see just in the shot is Joe McNally. He's a famous photographer. Go look him up. You might like his work. And now you can see it's giving me good feedback about the pitch that I had down in the bottom corner there. Sorry, by the time I say anything, it's actually telling you that. So let's move on to the next slide. And this is the photo we got. This is actually, I took this picture. I think it looks, looks quite good. Um, do I need a flash? And again, it's picking me up on the ums a lot, and I'm kind of doing it a little bit deliberately as well. So yes and no, you might need one. What's in my bag? Okay, so <laughs> a selfie stick. This is my selfie stick. And again, for some reason, it keeps coming up. I didn't think I was doing umming and ahhing too much. But anyway, there we go. That's the photo that I got with it. So. I happen to have a habit of saying anyway too often and it's popped up down there telling me that. Okay, when I'm done, I can just finish my presentation. I'm just going to do end show. I'm just going to press escape. And when I do, it comes up with this dialog box giving me a report of how I was doing and telling me good job rehearsing, keep up the hard work, <laughs> tells me how long which can be useful if you're rehearsing because you don't want to maybe go on for too long and this will give you an idea of how long you've actually taken. And it's telling you how many slides you got through as well. It's told me about the fillers that I use. Mm, I think I've got a bit of work to do there. I can click on more, learn more, and it will now take me to the website here which will give me a bit more information about what I've done there. So it's actually from Microsoft itself telling me about what it's picked up and how to potentially do better. Let's just go back to PowerPoint. There's a bit of repetitive language. Uh, your variety of word choice will help keep my audience engaged. And inclusiveness. I used inclusive language the other day. I tried it and I used he's and she's and things like that. And it actually sort of corrected me on it. The pace. It seems to think that I've got just the right pace, 132 words per minute. So give this a go and see where you come up. Perhaps we'll find out if you're doing this, whether you speak too fast or too slow. And sometimes speaking too slow is maybe the thing that you want. This is my average pace. So it's telling me over the course and my pitch as well. And there was a bit at the beginning where I deliberately 
went a bit monotone where I was just reading the bullet points and you can see that here. So this section at the top here was where I wanted to be. This bit down here wasn't and you can see that's probably the bit where I was just reading the bullet points. So I'm sure many of you have listened to people speak and actually thought, oh my gosh, I wish they would do a better job of their PowerPoint and this may well help them. It's very interesting here. It said you avoided reading slide text aloud. That's good for keeping the audience engaged with your message. That's interesting because I did actually just read the bullet points. But when I did one the other day where I was reading the whole paragraph, it did actually say to me that I was reading it and alerted me at the time. So that's a good point. A really good thing to know about presenting really is when you are doing a presentation, it's a good idea to just kind of use the slide almost as a prompt for yourself rather than reading what's on there. Of course, graphics, graphs, charts, all that kind of thing can be useful. You might have to refer to those and the data on them. But having text on there and just reading the text, well, you may as well just give them the PowerPoint presentation and they can do it themselves. It's called death by PowerPoint. So don't do that. But anyway, if you're wondering whether or not you can improve your PowerPoint presentations, I'm sure you're probably very good at them anyway because you've come here to learn more about it anyway and you would only probably be doing that if you were doing a good job in the first place. And I should mention as well, once you've seen this, you might want to consider going and pressing this rehearse again button and seeing how you do. When I first tried this last week, I did actually find maybe I learned a few things about myself and not just presenting on PowerPoint, but presenting generally. So as I said, this works on both the Windows and Mac version and I have found it very useful. Hopefully you're not sitting there assessing how I've just presented this. Thanks for watching. If you do like this, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more. I've got plenty of videos on PowerPoint, Word, Excel, Access, iPhones, photography and video on my YouTube channel. Take care.